Hello, this is Flights in Asia, and in this video, we'll be heading to India, where after nearly two years, the merger between Air India and fellow Tata Group airline Vistara will be completed before year's end. As an update to the ongoing merger approval process for Air India and Vistara, Air India and the Tata Group has reached an important milestone for the merger to proceed with the airline Vistara which was first formed as a joint venture between Tata Group and Singapore Airlines Group in 2015. Because of Singapore Airlines' 49% stake in Vistara, as part of the merger deal, the Singapore flag carrier is expecting to take on a 25% stake in the Indian flag carrier along with investing of around $680 Singapore dollars into the airline. While Singapore Airlines will be investing the money once the merger is completed, it required two approvals, first from Singapore's own competition regulator, the CCCS, which gave its go-ahead back in March. Now fast forward to the end of March, Singapore Airlines, in a stock filing to the Singapore Stock Exchange, notified that it has received an approval from the Indian government for a foreign direct investment into the enlarged Air India. These two approvals are now part of the total four, which was needed for Air India to complete the merger with Vistara, the other two being from the Competition Commission of India and India's National Company Law Tribunal. This much needed approval boosts the efforts of the Tata Group as it has ambitious plans for Air India with aircraft orders and the restructuring of the Indian flag carrier, integrating Vistara into the mainline operations, Along with the separate merger ongoing between Air India Express and AIX Connect, the former Air Asia India. Combined, the airline would have a fleet of nearly 300 aircraft operating with the full service Air India brand, along with its budget subsidiary, Air India Express. So now this brings up the question as to what will happen to the Vistara brand. And unfortunately for those who are fans of Vistara, the brand is expected to be phased out before year's end. Announced on its social media pages and on a dedicated website, Vistara stated that the last flights operated by the airline will be taking place on November 11 before all operations to be switched to Air India the following day. Starting September 3, Vistara will no longer be taking any more flight bookings for travel with the airline after November 11 while its Club Vistara program will be merged with Air India's Flying Returns program, and its members will be updated during the process. Air India and Vistara have committed to ensure that the transition process is as smooth as possible. In a statement, Vistara's CEO and Managing Director Vinod Kanan said, quote, We want to emphasize that this merger is about offering customers more choice with a larger fleet and wider network while elevating the overall travel experience. Vistara and Air India are committed to ensuring that this transition is smooth and hassle-free. While Air India and Vistara are promoting the merger, there have been doubts cast on it as Vistara is seen as a more premium airline, with some arguing Vistara has a better in-flight cabin amenities and interiors compared to Air India. Since the airlines have been operating separately, some argue that those who are more loyal to Vistara may not necessarily switch to Air India. As a result, there are some observers noting that Air India does need to improve on their in-flight offerings. The first of them is Ajay Prakash, a board member of the Federation of Associations of Indian Tourism and Hospitality. In a report by Mint, Prakash said, quote, Vistara has built up a loyal customer base over the years, and this continuation of the brand will have an impact in the near term since not all Vistara flyers will shift automatically to Air India. He further added that Air India will face a challenge till all its old aircraft are refurbished and more new aircraft are inducted. Sharing his sentiments on what he sees as necessary upgrades for Air India, Rajav Mehra, the president of the Indian Association of Tour Operators said, quote, In the long term, it remains to be seen how the merger pans out between the two airlines 
as Avis Starflyer is used to its premium services, while Air India on all yardsticks can't measure up to it. There is definitely enthusiasm now that the approval process has been completed for the highly anticipated merger between Air India and Vistara. There are those who definitely do want to see the Indian flag carrier prosper in the future now privatized under the Tata Group, carrying two brand carriers, carrying the Air India name, one as a full-service flag carrier and the other as a budget airline brand. That said, some do have their doubts on if Air India can match what has been argued as a more superior product with Vistara. That's all for now. I definitely hope you enjoyed this video. This has been Flights in Asia. Thank you for watching and have a great day.